Welcome to part two of level 10 in Halo 1. Here we go, folks. So, we're at the engine room. Engine room located. We're here. Alert. The monitor has disabled all command access. We can't restart the count now. We're going on a level the only 2. The option is to in the engine room. ship's fusion reactors. That should do enough damage to destroy Halo. Don't worry, I have access to all of the reactor schematics and procedures. I'll walk you through. Now we're on to level three. We need to pull back the exhaust cover. That will expose a shaft that leads to the primary fusion drive core. So, we're on the third floor in the engine room. So we we want to start in the back. Good. Step one complete. We have a straight shot into the fusion reactor. We need a catalyst explosion to destabilize the magnetic containment field surrounding the fusion cells. Use an explosive. I recommend a grenade or rocket. If you run out of explosives, there is an armory station located near the engine room's entrance. Analyzing. Fusion reactor number one destabilizing. Use explosives on the other three reactors. That should be enough to trigger a wildcat explosion of the engines. Why does he keep calling me Reclaimer when I'm the Master Chief? I mean, really, my name is Master Chief, not Reclaimer. Why hey, you to shut up. Well, that's not good. Now we're running up this side. To get the back, to get back up the floor, the third floor. Sweet Caroline, ah, that Neo Diamond. Ah, he's a good singer. Never. I will never give up in Cortana. I love Cortana. Yes, the Master Chief loves Cortana. Keep it up. Only one more fusion We're protecting to go. her from the bad guys. From the Flood, Covenant, and the Monitor. If anyone tries to get Cortana, they have to go through me. Which I will let them know. I'm doing what I've been told to do. Oh! Fuck you, blood! Destroy him. Yeah, we did. Sounds like it. That did it. The engine's gone critical. Based on the current rate of decay, we should have 15 minutes to get off the ship. We don't have much time. You gotta escape we should now. And signal for evac. Accessing schematics. There's a service lift at the top of the engine room. It leads to a class seven service corridor that runs along the ship's dorsal structure. Hurry. So now our main objective is to escape. 
the pillar of Adam again. Drop it. I'm going in. Okay, we're going Analyze. to a warthog. We have six minutes before the fusion drives detonate. We need to evac now. Activating final countdown timer. When it reaches zero, the engines will detonate. The explosion will generate a temperature of... The only reason we got out of the warthog is because we need to drive out of the pit of auto. Right now, and we got six minutes left. Uh, six minutes to get out. Otherwise, kaboom. Dead. In the game. And we can't have that. Not now. Not at the end of the game. So good. Hey baby. That's such a good song. Same as hey Mickey. Hey Mickey, you're so fun, you're so fun. Hey Mickey. Hey, hey, hey Mickey. Oh, Mickey. Man, that song was used in Pitch Perfect. The very first Pitch Perfect movie. Folks, if you haven't seen Pitch Perfect, go see it. That movie is awesome. The Sting movies are pitch perfect. I've seen both. I've seen the first two movies. Cortana to Echo I haven't seen the third movie Request yet. Extraction My hair is good. Double. Affirmative, Cortana. Alright, we're getting close to the end point. Wait, stop. This is where Bohammer is coming to pick us up. Hold position here. But wait, look. Cortana to Echo 419. Two Covenant Banshees are approaching Fall Hammer 6. Evade. Say again. Evade. Fall Hammer is... Gone. Oh, no. Echo 419. She's gone. Her job ship is so fired. Escaped. Ship's inventory shows one longsword fighter is still docked in Launch Bay 7. If we move now, we can make it. Oh yeah, Launch Bay 7 to Launch Bay 7. Here we go. Here we go. On the way to Launch Bay 7, where there's Covenant running, and we can just run them over like that. We got about three minutes left. Chief, up ahead there's a gap in the trench. At top speed, we should be able to clear it. We should clear it right now in about... Right. There we go. <laughs> Hey! 
here we go. We made it. We need to get aboard now. Uh, let's go through this way. I can kill you. Come on, bastard. There's a ship! Uh, we gotta make it go! Now! We're cutting it close! Here we go! and echoes. We are all that's left. We did what we had to do for Earth. An entire covenant armada obliterated and the flood. We had no choice. Hey, look. It's finished. No. I think we're just getting started. I'll show you the credits, folks. And when he said, oh, no, I think we're just getting started. I think what you mean, the Master Chief means, there's more to come. The war has brought out, broke out, and Halo. So the whole game takes place in the future. The whole Halo series. Like in the 25th century. I think it's the 25th century. Maybe I'm wrong. But this is the credits. We're gonna show the whole credits, okay?
What? Is that the monitor? How did he survive? Okay. Wow, okay, the monitor survived. So, that was Halo 1, part 2 of level 10. And that was the whole game of level of Halo 1. I'll see you guys next time when I'll show you the hard mode of Halo. Yeah, I'll show you what the hard mode looks like. A heroic mode. Alright, the heroic mode. Your enemies are numerous as they are ferocious. Their attacks are devastating. Survival is not guaranteed. I'll show you the legendary one. The description. You you face your you face opponents who have never known defeat, who laugh in alien tongues at your efforts to survive. This is suicide. Legendary is kind of hard. So I'll see you guys next time in the heroic mode. Bye. Peace out. Have a good day, folks.